Hello everyone and welcome to Couch to Rally. Um, I kind of thought that uh, it would be really cool to document and uh, talk about how someone who's never raced and has never been on actually organized motorcycle event signed up for the rally and um, prepared the bike and prepared the gear and actually done the rally. So that's going to be what these videos is going to be about. I'm going to go in 10 days to Dinaric Rally in Croatia. And uh, thanks to Improbably Adventuring, which was nagging me in the Morocco in the lockdown to do the rally. So I'm doing the rally. And also Egel uh, from ADV to Rally, because she's writing about rallies and doing all the YouTube videos and blog posts about it, which I should probably check out actually. The Tenere is not even yet done. It's now in a workshop and we're working on the high exhaust. That's not because of the rally, but tomorrow hopefully I'm gonna get the bike here and I have all this mess to install on the bike. Um, not for the rally, actually. I, it's a kind of project which comes uh, from the experience from the Morocco. There are, I think, two or three things which I did specifically for the rally. But let's talk about that when the bike is here. Um, because that is not my biggest problem. At the moment, my biggest problem is to actually get to the rally. Um, I am going to SIGIM in Austria, which stands for Spontaneous Insta Globe for the Mead, organized by Scotty Austria, this weekend. And from there, I want to go to um, Croatia. Now, I need to cross Slovenia, and Slovenia put the Czech Republic on a yellow list. That means that I have 12 hours for transit, and even or even for the transit, I need the negative PCR test. So I need to do it somehow, somewhere, um, probably in Austria. And that's even not the funniest thing. The funniest thing is that Croatia is on the red list for Slovenia. So that means, if I'm understanding this correctly, that I need to get to the quarantine on my way back. In Slovenia, for two weeks. <laughs> that's gonna be fun. Let's talk more about the Dinaric Rally, because I think that's more interesting. So it's the first year of the Dinaric Rally. It's only happening this year in Croatia. Next year, probably going to expand to the different countries for obvious reasons. Um, and what I like about it is that, um, A, it's cheap comparing to other ones. So I paid 350 euros to enter. And then it is kind of a easygoing rally or it's uh, what can you read on the website let's see how it goes but you know it's uh, it doesn't have a road book which is that thing which the Dakar has and Hellas has for example you just get the GPS coordinates um, GPS tracks and you go it's three stages um, 600 kilometers of quite beautiful mountains to be honest they're all over there um, and the, the bivouac, which is where you stay during the rally, is actually stationary. So you do like a loop, so you don't have to jump and go around. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. And I think that I have to buy some uh, gear for my protection, um, change stuff on the bike. And it's going to be quite interesting to actually for people, at least like me, who never raced or have never been to the rally to kind of you know, what it is, what is, what is it like, how, what do you need to know, what do you need to do? I mean, I probably need to know something, but let's focus on the bike and let's focus on figuring out how the hell the COVID situation is um, to get to the rally. So, see you next time.